We're going to evaluate the integral of e to the negative x times sine of x using an easy method. This is my favorite way. Okay? Normally we evaluate this using integration by parts twice, but this way we're going to use Euler's formula. Now bear with me, trust me, this is way easier to work with. Sine of x is the imaginary part of e to the i x. So we're going to substitute that in. So the integral becomes the imaginary part of e to the negative x times e to the i x. And we can merge these together by adding the exponents to the negative 1 plus i x. And this, my friends, is like a, one of the world's easiest integral. It's, it's kind of cool. This is not easy to evaluate, but this one is. So we have a little celebration here. It is e to the negative 1 plus i x divided by i minus x, the imaginary part, from 0 to infinity. And at this point, we're going to evaluate this. So we'll substitute it back into Euler's formula. We'll pull out the i minus 1 part here. And as x goes to infinity, this term goes to 0. And I hope you can see this. e to the negative infinity, I know infinity is not a number, it goes to zero. This i doesn't matter because cos x and sine x can't get large. The highest they can get is one, lowest is negative one. So this term goes to zero. At e to the negative zero, that's one. Cos of zero is one, and sine of zero is zero. So this whole term becomes negative one. So this becomes the imaginary part of one divided by one minus i. And I have a reminder of this negative one here. So this is negative one, and I brought the negative into the denominator. So rather than saying i minus 1, I kept the whole thing positive and did 1 minus i. We want the imaginary part of this. How do we do that? Well, we got to get it into this form, a plus bi, where b is the imaginary part that we want. To get the fraction into a plus bi form, we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. And knowing that i equals the square root of negative 1 and i squared equals negative 1, if you expand the brackets and simplify, you'll get 1 plus i divided divided by 2. We could split this up into two happy fractions, 1 half plus 1 half i, where, my friends, 1 half is b, that's our imaginary part, and the answer to the integral. What's kind of cool is that the real portion here, this is the answer to the integral of e to the negative x cos x, because cos x is the real part of Euler's formula. Let me know if you like this method better. Cheers.